And if they want to switch into their Fluttermane, we outspeed it. As they just forfeit immediately. That is hilarious. Okay, we're going to pause so we can get another one. They got shut down a little bit too hard by Okie Doggy. Okay, today we're going to talk about Okie Doggy. Now, Okie Doggy is probably the best of the loyal three Pokemon introduced in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC, the Teal Mask. Now, the thing about Okie Doggy is it's sort of weird compared to the other two, and by that I mean it's built like a good Pokemon, where Pheasantipity is really strange in that it doesn't have any of its stats where you want it to be, and where Monkey Dory is just super frail but fast and like a powerful special attacker, Okie Doggy fills that middle role where it's got like that Incineroar, Rillaboom type build, it's got like good HP, really good defenses, a decent speed tier, and a good attack stat but like no special attack. It's it's weird. It's a bulky dude, and I think he's the like the best one in VGC out of all of them. You know, except for Ogre Pond, which just absolutely clears all the other ones. It is actually a great Pokemon. But yeah, we're going to do some movesets for Okie Dogie today. If you guys enjoyed, do me a favor, leave a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. And also, you know, the Okie Dogie showcase will be going up tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe for that. It's going to go crazy. I already recorded it. It went, it went amazing. But yeah, let's get into it. So, also we're almost at 100,000 subscribers, so any like like and subscribe or maybe checking out the Patreon, all that helps, but yeah, let's begin. So Okie Dogie, I'm going to start off with the best moveset in my opinion. Uh, it's got two abilities though, I guess we should talk about the stats first. It's got two abilities, it's got Toxic Chain and Guard Dog is the hidden ability. Now, Toxic Chain is a great ability. Every one of your moves has a 30% chance of badly poisoning something. That is really cool because Poison Jab, I believe at that point, has like a 51% chance to poison something, either poison or badly poison. It's one or the other. And that's really nice. You know, it's a decent move. It's pretty powerful coming off of that base, what, 128 attack stat? So if you end up hitting like a Pokemon with a Focus Sash and it goes down to it, 50 50 shot, it just drops at the end of the turn. Along with that, you know, it's got really good HP and defense, a decent speed stat, and the fairy, not fairy, and the poison and fighting typing is all right. Um, fighting does, it, it's like, fighting is like a really good offensive type, right? Uh, it's going to allow you to hit um, rock, steel, and ice for super effective while also just hitting most things neutral, and poison covers for a lot of the things that fighting can't hit. Also, defensively, poison allows you to get hit neutrally by fairy moves, which in a flutter main metagame, yeah, that's pretty important. So, yeah, now let's move into the first moveset. Okie Dogi, uh, I think its best moveset right now, and a lot of people have picked up on it, is going to be Terra Fairy Leftovers Bulk Up with Guard Dog. Now, Guard Dog is different from Defiant. If Okie Dogi had Defiant, it'd be a much better Pokemon, in my opinion. Guard Dog only has one thing going for it over Defiant, and that's that you can't be forced to switch out. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it's been a minute since I faced a Whirlwind or Roar on the VGC ladder, but it is always a thing that you have to keep in mind. It could exist, maybe, like, it really only exists in formats where, like, Xerneas exists, and also, like, where Trick Room is important to get up. You can use Roar as, like, a catch-all to stop uh, Trick Room. But, yeah, so, okie dokie, this moveset, we're going to be running Terra Fairy Leftovers, Bulk Up Guard Dog, Drain Punch, Poison Jab, and Protect. Now, keep in mind, Guard Dog only activates. It only gives you plus one attack if you're intimidated. It's not if you're icy winded, it's not like defiant, which you would prefer that if it got it, but we'll take guard dog. So yeah, it's gonna be max HP 172 attack, which is literally just meant to hit the first attack or not the first attack bump, but a higher attack bump. What that means is that if you were to have, you know, um, if you were to invest 164 EVs into this with an adamant nature, your attack stat would be 185. However, instead of the next, um, the next eight being 172 giving you 186 it's actually 187 just because the way the game rounds the uh the stats so that's really useful it just gives you an extra point as for everything else uh the speed just hits 107 which means under tailwind or after like a thunder wave or two icy winds you're going to be outspeeding basically everything in the game that doesn't have a speed boost this includes dragapults and uh flutter mains and yeah uh, we just put the rest into special defense, 28 points there, and we have four leftovers for defense. That's just sort of like a general spread. This is like the most splashable one. It doesn't, me it isn't meant to like live anything in particular, but you live basically everything. It's like, it's just a good spread, you know? You're gonna be able to take like Specs Moonblast and stuff because yeah, you just do that. It's just, it's just that guy. But yeah, uh, the way that you'd play this one is it does really well with Rillaboom as a partner, since Rillaboom's gonna be able to take on ground types, fake out opposing Pokemon, let you go for a bulk up, um, you also get leftovers and uh, the grassy train recovery from that. Uh, and what that'll allow you to do is just more easily go for bulk ups, drain punches, poison jabs, and just be an overall nuisance to the opposing team. So yeah, uh, this is my favorite one. This is the one that we used in the showcase that'll be going up tomorrow. 
and it's going to be the one that I'm going to use in the after the video showcase, which is just going to be one battle. The next move set is going to be the Assault Vest one. Now, Assault Vest is going to be a set where you can either run Toxic Chain or Guard Dog, and that is highly dependent on where your priorities are, right? So Toxic Chain has a 30% chance of allowing your moves to poison, and this is mostly just meant for Snarl spam. Now, Snarl is coming off your special attack stat, which means it's not going to be doing too much damage, but it's reducing the power of the opposing Pokemon's special attack stats by one stage. So that's going to make it so uh, you're going to be able to wall out a lot of things, especially with, you know, grassy terrain recovery, some like lunar blessings, or even just drain punching Pokemon. The spread is going to be 252 HP, 44 attack with an adamant nature. That's just dumped. Uh, it's, it's just what I had left over after putting everything else where it needed to be. We have 108 defense, 100 special defense, and 4 speed. The speed is also dumped. Uh, but 101 speed does allow you to outspeed a decent amount of Heatran. As long as they don't have too much investment, they tend to hit like 99 to 100. So yeah, you're going to hit 101 there, and that's going to be really useful. Uh, as for the bulk, the 252 HP with 100 special defense allows you to take Specs Moonblast with Beads of Ruin from uh, Fluttermane. So that's really useful. You're just going to be able to tank that hit. Absolutely go for a poison jab or a snarl, whatever's more uh, useful for you. And then the defense is going to allow you to take adamant max attack stomping tantrum from Landorus uh, if Sword of Ruin is active, which is a very common combination right now. So that's just going to make it easier for you to be able to drain punch like the partner Chen Power, go for a poison jab and possibly knock out like the uh, the uh, Landorus with a, a poison. So yeah, even though it's resisted. So but uh, when I said it, the ability depends on what your priorities are. If you're running like a bulkier team, I actually recommend you go Toxic Chain just because the damage control from Snarl comboed with the chance to poison is actually really useful. It's not just poison, it's toxic, right? So Snarl, because you're hitting both opponents, the way you do the math for that is each one has a 30% chance to poison the opponent, which means that you take the chance that you don't poison an opponent, that's 0.7, you, tie, or you multiply it by 0.7, and then you subtract that from one. I, that ends up being like 51% chance to poison something. Math is very cool. Um, and yeah, the moveset is just Snarl, Knockoff, Poison Jab, uh, and Drain Punch. Just a very standard moveset. Knockoff's very useful for like removing leftovers from uh, you know, opposing uh, Cresselia, opposing Gastrodon. It's going to allow you to remove like a Mental Herb and then go for a Taunt the next turn. It's just a really good utility move and being able to hit Chi Yu for super effective damage if it wants to Terra a Ghost in front of you is actually also a very important tool. So I enjoy this set quite a bit. I think it's really decent. And yeah, you just want to go, you would want to go Guard Dog if you're not invested in running like a, a super bulky team with like poison on it. So that's the only difference. The final moveset I think is not the worst, but it's going to be the most niche. Um, it's just max HP, 172 attack, 4 defense, 4 special defense, 76 speed. With the 76 speed, you're going to outspeed a decent number of Rillaboom. Uh, but this is just meant to be like an overall bulky attacker with access to safety goggles taunt. And yeah, you're running guard dog because it just gives you like an, uh, it gives you like an attack boost on intimidate leads. So that's decently useful. Uh, and this is just like a semi utility, semi attacker set. You have close combat over Drain Punch because you're not invested, uh, you're not really interested in survivability and like longevity as much as you are just taking KOs. Uh, and that's why this one has, you know, more attack vestment than, uh, you know, the, the previous one, which is more focused around bulk and survivability. Along with that, Taunt is going to allow you to shut down uh, Trick Room. Typically, uh, Psychic Terrain Trick Room is very difficult for Pokemon to knock out or for Pokemon to shut down because your main Taunt users are going to be Prankster Pokemon, which get blocked by Psychic Terrain. But by having Taunt on a non-Prankster Pokemon, it's just going to allow you to more easily get around that sort of thing. And yeah, we're just Terra Water. Water is like a really good uh, defensive Terra for most things in the game. Uh, I recommend Terra Water for the previous two movesets, but like the bulk up moveset, you know, we're going to go ahead and just run Terra Fairy on that one because I think it's just a little bit more splashable. You could run Terra Water on the first one too. I just find Terra Fairy to be uh, a very neutral one. But yeah. So those are the three movesets. Uh, not too much to talk about in terms of like specific calcs. I got into some nitty gritty with the, uh, you know, the Assault Vest one. But yeah, uh, right now I just want to showcase a game with Okie Dogie and we'll see if we can get it to uh, activate that dog in them. Let's go ahead and hop over there. Okay, here we are on the casual ladder. Here is a team that I built with my buddy the main event. Uh, that video where we use it will be coming out tomorrow or Sunday, depending on if the editor is a little sleepy tonight. Um, and yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and hop on the casual battle ladder because that is the closest to Reg D we're going to get to. I want to face like Milotic and stuff, you know, I want to face something cool, which is why we're not going on ranked right now. And yeah, uh, hopefully we can get a game. I'll just skip to whenever we end up finding someone with a regulation uh, E team. Let's see if this guy's got a reg E team. If not, I'll pause it and we'll come back. All right, Bree, what you got? 
That is Regulation E. Let's go. Orvidite's interesting. Uh, and luckily, they do have an Intimidator. Uh, so we can actually lead off with the Okie Doki, and it's pretty decent here. Um, I also quite like the... Ooh, I quite like my Gyarados lead. I think Gyarados is actually really scary for them. Uh, Rillaboom in the back is also quite good, and I think we can end game them with either... Ooh, I don't have like a lot of speed control, because I'm probably not going to bring my, my dude. But I should be able to beat Corviknight with enough bulk ups, so I think I bring him over the, the Golden Go. Yeah. We'll do that, we'll do that. All right, what you got, Bree? All right, there is a Corviknight, but we do got that dog in us. We do got that dog in us. So, actually don't mind this. We get the attack boost. I think what I'm going to do here, it's going to be a little controversial, is I want to taunt that Corviknight, and I'm going to Terra Fairy immediately uh, and go ahead and go for a bulk up. And as long as we're faster than the Corviknight, which we should be, Corviknight's got like, what, base 67 speed? Let me check that. That's such a niche speed tier that I really shouldn't know that. How did I know that? Dude, I got Pokemon Brain Rot. I've been playing this game too long. It's 67 speed. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> Horvath Squire is faster, apparently. 77. But yeah, um, the Landorus is intimidated as they go for an Earthquake. So Okie Dogie should eat that just fine at minus one. We're going to go ahead and get this bulk up off as long as you don't get crit or as long as it's not like Choice Band. We're fine. They're also Life Orb. Get that taunt off. No bulk up for them. And... Gonna get our bulk up off. He's got that dog in him. It's a fairy dog, but he's still got that dog. Can't bulk up after the taunt. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Let's go ahead and go for a Thunder Wave and another bulk up. Because that catches basically everything. I don't care about getting Iron Headed. And if they want to switch into their Flutter Main, we outspeed it. As they just forfeit immediately. That is hilarious. Okay, we're going to pause so we can get another one. They got shut down a little bit too hard by Okie Dogie. I'll be right back with the second one. Unfortunately, Bree's going to have to run that back with us. I'm sorry, Bree. You're going to have to run it back. I really think we just do that again. It was very neutral into her whole team. All right, run it back. So I guess we're getting a best of three here. <laughs> All right. Show me what you're gonna do. I mean, she's thinking about it. She's like, ah, oh, man, do I want to lead off with that Landorus or, or not? Like, cause you know, Landorus is pretty good. But honestly, if 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 they don't bring the Corviknight, like, I'm more happy than anything. Like, I don't want to have to deal with Corviknight reflecting my intimidates. A non-intimidated Gyarados is a happy Gyarados. Also, before anyone comments, actually go ahead and comment anyways, because I won't have to reply. Um, the details for this team are going to be in the next video. Because that's where I'm actually going to drop a rental code. Also, I think this weekend I'm going to take some time to beat Pokemon Scarlet. Just so I can get like extras of all the legendary Pokemon and also have a second copy to share rental codes on. All right. Run it back, Bree. Corviknight again. And the Gastrodon. I mean... I don't really have an issue just going for a Protect here. And a Taunt onto you. To prevent you from getting to do anything. And if they want to go for like an Earth Power or a Yawn into my Okie Doge, it's fine. They also might be clear smog, so I have to watch out for that. They do go for the yawn. I think here it's in my best interest to... Do I care? 
Like, if we're being real, do I care that much? Not really, it's just bulk up. And I think I'm in a Terra Poison here. No. We can just double protect, that's safer. It's not like they're gonna be like Sword Stance Iron Hands. There's a Thunder Punch. Okay, so no Fake Out. That makes me feel even more safe about my next turn's play. And maybe not as safe as I thought. Because that will hurt. But I think it'll be fine. We have a lot of spit F. I'm, I'm confident we can eat the hit. I just don't want to like... Man, I don't know who I want to Terra here. I think if we bulk up, we eat the hit anyways. And I can Terra here and Taunt. Because I want to prevent a Yawn more than anything. Yawn's like the most frustrating thing I can deal with here. Also, I don't see them not going for Thunder Punch. Okay. Can you yawn? Assuming I'm gonna switch, can you yawn? Thunder Punch. We're gonna eat that up like Reese's Puffs. And they go for the yawn. Let's go. So big. Huge, in fact, actually. Let's go ahead and Iron Hand shakes off the taunt. Um, I could go for a second one, but it's probably better if I go for a protect here. Get in my uh, monkey, and now I have a lot of pressure on that Gastrodon, and I can go for a second bulk up. And then we're in a pretty good position. Because I have recovery out the, um, out the wazoo. Out the dogi, in fact. Oh, they are Swords Dance. I was proven extremely wrong in my assumptions today. If that's the case, uh, a second Intimidate, or a single Intimidate, doesn't seem that bad. I do have Fake Out pressure here, though, so I could just go for Fake Out Drain Punch, and then Woodhammer Drain Punch, and that'll probably KO, because I don't think I dropped to an Earth Power. I don't think they have Protect, either. Actually, we're at plus one. I can just fake out the... I can fake out the Gastrodon. I think they might Terra it. To, like, not get one shot by a Grass move. Yeah. So they're not going to protect here if they're Terraing. So the fake out was smart. Because, like I said, like, we can eat the hit from the, uh... <laughs> we can eat a hit from this, uh, Iron Hands. And it's not going to appreciate... I mean, it's going to take it fine, but it, yeah, it, it still hits pretty hard. That's within range of a double up. Nice. We're going to get a lot of recovery here. And I think I just want a wood hammer. Because it'll do a decent amount. I could also double into that thing and like always KO. Just judging by the damage I did last turn, and I think I'm fine with that. They shake off the taunt. How much do I care? Not that much. As long as I have the tools to beat that in the back, which I do. I mean, like, <laughs> we should be able to deal with it with the, um, with the dude. The Roaring Moon, I mean. Yeah, this double up should KO. We have like terrain and stuff. Yeah. Take a little bit of recoil there. Nothing we can't heal off immediately. Uh, we have a lot of health, so. And I have a decent amount of special defense investment. <clears throat> also, Gastron's not the hardest hitter without a boost. So we should be able to eat this hit. As long as I don't get crit or anything. And even if they want to go for Yawn, there's a good chance the Corviknight's not gonna um, protect next turn. So I could just attempt to ruin that Corviknight's life.
Even a second bulk up isn't that bad. Like, if they do end up going into a Protect Pokemon, yeah, second bulk up's fine. They go into that Corviknight. Should be able to U-turn, uh, get in my Gyarados. And I think I don't want damage. I think I want damage more than anything because I can send it in like range of knockoff. So we'll go for the Drain Punch U-turn. Should do a decent amount. Rocky Helmet. All right. Well, I don't like that. I don't like that. I could also just Thunder Wave here, if I'm being real. That's probably better just to Thunder Wave it. Be a nuisance. It's not like it has leftovers recovery, so knockoff isn't as good as I thought. And endgame knockoff's probably a lot better. Yeah, we do a lot here. Obviously I can't um Obviously I can't go for um you know waterfall because of storm drain, but Still feel pretty good. Yeah, uh, I think my play here is going to be Earth Power, you eat that up, you're fine. And I don't necessarily need Okie Dogie to win anymore. My win con is going to be to go for a, um, let me think. Taunt to prevent further setup is probably smart. And to prevent recovery, too. So yeah, we'll just burn a turn here. I can even go, like, right into my croissant. And that's not that bad, either. Yeah, and I'll prevent further setup. Get our booster energy. Hopefully they go for a second bulk up and get greedy. Great bird, that's recoil, cool. I'm cool with that. As long as you're like within range of knockoff, I'm like perfectly fine with that turn. Yeah, and we don't take much from that either. That's within knockoff range, we can just go for it. We'll also taunt the uh, Gastrodon here. Get rid of you, take a little bit of Rocky Helmet Chip, but now with like recovery and stuff, I think we're fine. It's just gonna be a little bit of a scary end game. And if we're lucky, they'll um they'll go for a yawn. Because booster energy is really solid in this end game now. Because they earth power, we're fine, we eat that up. And yeah, our Roaring Moon should be faster than a possible Fluttermane. As they end up being Heatran, which yeah, I'm pretty cool with that. Um Ooh, am I though? Am I though? Let me go for a knockoff and... Ooh, wait, this is actually a little scary. I might lose. Because my win con is going to be able to like actually hit that thing. I think what we do is we go for the knockoff into you. We can't hit it just yet. But we sack our uh, Okie Dogie to a possible Heat Wave. Um, and then next turn, it should be within Woodhammer range. And we're probably faster than the Heatran. And then we have to, like, never, ever, 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 ever uh, not get the flinch. Because <laughs> they flash cannon. Okay. Gonna KO us. Things aren't looking that good, but they're also not looking that bad. It pretty much just comes down to uh, our monkey surviving a turn. Because two wood hammers should just barely do it. A little bit of recovery. Unfortunately, they do too. Yeah, and I need to, like, get rid of this thing before anything else. They're not life orbs, so there's a chance I can take a heat wave. 
But I protect here. I don't go for fake out. It's not worth it. I need the immediate damage. As they protect, okay. All right. Hopefully they earth power because that'd be huge. That should go down next turn. It's going to be really close though. As they do go for the earth power. Yeah, and my Rillaboom's 110 speed, and my uh, Gyarados is 109. So, ooh, it's going to be really close. It's going to be really close. Woodhammer. And I have to go for the Waterfall. I could Thunder Wave, um, and that gives me more potential to, like, endgame win. I think Thunder Wave is technically the play. Because if I get a single para, my chances of winning drastically go up. This waterfall will never KO without like a super mega crit, and I have a higher chance of getting a full para. Alright, statistical analysis, go! Please KO. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Maybe they only have flamethrower and I win. But as long as we're faster than this guy, which we probably are, we have a lot of speed. Compared to most uh, Heatran. Go for this Thunder Wave. I need a single Paralysis, and then I think we always win. Or like a Heat Wave miss onto the Gyarados. Fire they're Fire Blast. Our chances of winning drastically rose this turn. Drastically rose. So we protect here for a little bit of Leftovers Recovery, and then we spam Waterfall. And we only need one Para Flinch. Fire Blast is also wildly inaccurate compared to, like, moves you could be running. They do have Earth Power. Yeah, it comes down to if I get the Para Flinch or not, which we have a decent chance. Um, it's like 50%, literally. It's the same thing. It's 30% chance to flinch, 30% chance to um, get the Paralysis. So it's literally 51% chance we win this game. All right, who's ready to roll the dice? I am. Regardless, this was a, this was a good Okie Dogie move set showcase. So make sure you leave a like. Let's see if we can get this W. 51%. Come on, baby! Let's go! <laughs> I'm so happy we got that. That was a really good game. That was a really good game. Alright, Waterfall. Nice. Two W's. Two W's. Alright. This is also a lot longer of a video than I thought it would be. Anyways, thank you for watching. Let's end it right there. Playlist full of other moveset guides and other videos you can check out at the end of this video. Make sure you sub, leave a like, comment, do whatever, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.